M0FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXB, so you're trying to get your ID51 Plus or Plus 2 to connect to your RS MS1A app. So here it is working. Now I've had to get a proper adapter because this is a Type C, um, you know, USB instead of a micro. So I've just fitted that on the, we're using the 2350 cable that comes with the plus two model. If you've got the plus one, you probably have to buy it, but well worth having because it opens up a lot of functionality. So <clears throat> you're in normal mode, but just most of the settings are actually in the CIV settings. So you just go menu, function, and these are my settings, CIV. So the data jack is, you select data jack, CIV address 86, board rate, what worked for me was 9600, CIV transceive is actually on off, I had it on on but it didn't work, uh, back, back, and I think that, that's all I changed, I'm just trying to look, DV gateway, yeah you just in normal mode, now we'll just look at the actual app, um so we've got it's a funny angle because we've got this thing sticking out the bottom but we'll go to settings um transceiver settings we just selected at the moment we've we haven't selected the sort of gps stuff yet well, not on the moment we're just trying to get the thing working as a as a radio to control you can see that the radio's receiving stations there as they key i'll turn it up see if we can hear anyone talk so let's just go back. So output power low, DV data auto, GPS, internal GPS, GPS TX mode is off. Now if I turn it on, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it seems to be fine. So that's, we'll transmit on reflector 30, I think we're on now. And then DV TX message is, is on. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do the add new message thing, shall we? Add new message, yeah, let's just go, hi, M0FXB, click OK, right, OK, let's leave that on like that, put it there like that, select, DV fast data is selected, let's go back to the settings, go to application settings, so longitude and latitude, select whether you want minutes, scream timeout, height, it's all to do with GPS stuff, isn't it? Haven't really changed any of this. SSID is A, yeah, it's all APRS stuff, isn't it? Back to settings, USB cable connection is there. Now what happened, when I plugged in the USB cable to the phone, the phone sort of said, oh, you're going to use the USB cable, is this okay? So it sort of found it on its own. You can see the board rate, symbol we can change, put a car. Let's just go down, USB setting 9600, CIV address 86, application EO, date format. I can't see anything major that I changed. Now the interesting thing is you can actually change the radio using map. So if you select map and look at the radio, if I find a repeater, it's just loading up at the moment, if I find a repeater here, say, and I tap it, set, it should change to that repeater on the radio, it's like so. Set the dead. Where do we click? Where do we set it? Well, it didn't change. Maybe I have to hold it. Yeah, it's not changing, so I'll keep playing. And if I get that to change, I'll, I'll let you know. So 7.3 for now, I'm 0FXB. So we've got it changing now. So look, if you tap that one, 
go near repeater and tap one of the repeaters, it changes. Use reflector, if we go RX history and tap one of them. And then you can see the radio is changing. Let's try the map one again. So go back into the app. So we go map. Tap one of these ones here again. Now let's tap the top bit that says set the TO repeater, the 2 repeater. Yeah, it's doing it now. Now we tap, go back again to the map. And we can tap the tap it again. And the, the from repeater. repeater. <laughs> uh, then go map. Let's choose a different one altogether. Like so. Looks like it's the same person. Let's go further away. This one here. Let's tap that. Let's set the from. See the radio changing? And then the top one. If we go back to the map. So you get the idea, you can just choose someone, tap on it, set the two, it's done that. You get that come on. And when people, when, there's, when it's busy, you get a signal meter going up and down here. And when you click TX, it TXs. So it's all working. It's got an adapter. You can just select DR mode. You can send messages, you can send photographs. I'm not sure actually, can you send photographs on the 51? I don't think you can. If you can, let me know. I can't see a, a thing for photographs. Export, no. You can import and export stuff, like data list and all that. Repeater list. Your call sign, receive history. We can go back to when we were, that's where we were earlier. So you get your receive history. Connection, exit the application. That's it, oh, share pictures, let's try that. So it looks like it actually might actually share pictures. So it looks like it does. So what you would do is you'd have to select the picture first. Um, yeah, so that's really, that's for another video, but it looks like Touch screen for one second to select the picture. Camera. Click allow. And let's, uh, let's just take anything. Right, we took anything picture. Ticket. All right, it's in there. Go done. Keep it nice and low, click OK, and then click Start Transmitting. And yeah, the radio's gone into Transmit. So it does send pictures. Oh, I'm going to stop that, it's going to annoy someone. <laughs> but um, yeah, it does send pictures. So uh, yeah, it's all good fun, isn't it? 7-3, all the best.